Greetings internet friends, welcome to Eurogamer. My name's Ian Higton and as you can see behind me, this big spiky tooth chap, it is uh, a Shadow of the Beast stream. We are streaming the remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, of Shadow of the Beast. I was around, I was alive when the original was uh, was was uh, released. I've even got it here, uh, my ZX Spectrum copy of the original Shadow of the Beast there. Uh, but this stream is not the Spectrum version, it is all about the PS4 exclusive version and uh, I'm going to be jumping in right away to see how it plays. Our review has just gone up on the site by the way. If you want to read the review from the uh, mega talented Simon Parkin you can go to Eurogamer.net right now, uh, click on the review and uh, have a read of that while I'm playing this in the background. Shadow of the Beast eh? So, Shadow of the Beast is um, it, I don't know whether it's a remake or a reboot. I presume it's more of a reboot than a remake because they're not remaking the levels. Um, you know. Sorry, what am I doing? Right. They're not completely remaking the levels. It's all brand new levels. Uh, I'm going to go. Oh, beginner. <laughs> I'm going to do beginner difficulty because uh, uh, without a doubt I will be rubbish otherwise. Uh, and we're playing. I'm playing uh, this game from the very start. I have had a little fiddle with the game, uh, but I've erased erased all the saves. We start from the very beginning, so you get to see all the cut saves and everything as well. Uh, hey, Sunny Jim. Hey, Lizzie. Hey, Isaiah Pez. Hey, Warfare Zero Seven. Hey, Irina. Uh, Wayne Donaldson is here as well. Hello, Drunk Dougie. Hello, Great Punkster. He says, "Sup, Ian." Uh, Trolley Gnome is here as well. Hero Fanchuck is here. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I, Arena, Scott Arundel, Great Punkster, Jumbo Jimbo Plays Games, Chris Reckless, and now a cutscene. Okay, so this is me, I am the Beast, and uh, I'm being held by a leash, by this uh, weird floaty wizardy type guy. I can I can try and punch him, but he doesn't like it, he turns you around and makes you trot on. So it looks like to me we are some kind of invading force trying to take over these peeps' homeworld. Square is attack. And there is a lot of blood and gore in this game. There we go. Took them down. It's basically a side-scrolling beat em up with some platform puzzly elements in there as well. Whoa! -ho! Fire! Okay, so we've got a barrage of arrows. Nothing an arrow tree, uh, an arrow tree, an apple tree can't solve. Ow. Okay. So we got to stay under the uh, under the trees and not get caught and get a face full of arrows. My health is there, bottom left. I've got nine chances to get hit. Eight now. Ow. Got arrowed in the shin. Oh my god, I'm not doing too well. Why did he slow down there? Alright, here we go. Finally made it across the bridge. I think if you dart between the, the trees successfully, you can get through there without getting hit. Okay, face enemies and use R1 to block attacks. Alright. There we go, block that. Okay, yeah. Look at that bridge, covered in blood. Right through the neck. This guy loves stabbing people in the neck. Looks quite balletic in his uh, in his moider. There we go. Can you roll? Let's have a look. 
Uh, oh yes, you can roll. It's not a button. It's the right thumbstick that rolls. Could have done with knowing that a minute ago when I was dodging arrows, I guess. Screw you, little men. Hold circle to grab enemies. I didn't even bother doing that. I just charged through them and stabbed them all in the face. So it looks, it, the graphics wise, uh, it looks pretty nice. The original game was always known for its weird and wonderful creature designs. And um, for the time, amazing graphics. Get out of my way, mate. Oh, okay. Looks like I'm uh, murdering innocent monks. Sorry, mate. So sorry. Uh-oh. Hey, dude, we, we just want to get sorry about it. Ah, oh. Even trying to... Pressing the jump button made me stab him in the gut there. This game just... Just wants you to murder innocents. Oh, hello. So there you go, that priest touched, what's his name, is it Aroth, Aroth, I can't remember, his, touched his arm and uh, that gave him flashbacks to uh, how he became a monster, he was stolen as a baby and was put into, turned into this beast and put into slavery to work for these weird antler dudes. No, you cannot control me now! I know the secret. There we go. Chopped him good in the gut. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, so he's conjured some weird monsters from his green predator blood. Uh, L1 and R1 to start Rage Chain. Okay. Rage Chain. So left and attack. So this is kind of like match the match the button prompts. Basically a quick time quick time beatdown. So you don't have much time to much time to match the beats. There we go, killed them all. So Couple of rage chains down. Pretty simplistic. You gotta be quite fast on the old reflexes though. Oh, what's this? Duncandies. Alright, oh, Shadow Realm. What is this? Okay, so when. I believe this is when you find some. When someone. There's like. A, okay, there's like a social aspect to this game, right? Um, a little bit like Dark Souls, I guess. Uh, if someone dies, you can come across their dead bodies like that. And you get the chance to either gift them. I don't know what gifting does. But if you go to the Shadow Realm, you have to do this weird little mini-game where you devour them as quick as possible. And devouring just basically means quick time eventing their limbs off. And then you can re-challenge... The people, the people who've eaten you, you can challenge them and try and beat their their times. I guess I managed to delim that guy in five seconds and eighty five, which is pretty good. I earned a shadow stone from that. No idea what the shadow stone does though. So, is there anything else to see up here? Any collectibles? What's this? Use that to break prophecy orbs. There we go. So there's another special move you can get that makes stabby things come out of the ground. Look. That's like a smart bomb that'll kill everyone in the area, I guess. 
So yeah, what's this game about? Lots of people are saying. So uh, this is a remake of a classic Commodore Amiga game. It came out. It came out. Nineteen ninety. So twenty six odd years old. And uh, it's about basically about this guy punching the crap out of a load of monsters and making blood go everywhere. It's a side scrolling beat em up. Uh, R2 plus square regenerates health. Okay, so if you plus R2 and square, you can jump on people, nom them, and that will. Ow. Regenerate your health. I've got three health at the moment, four health. And each one of those. Ow. Every time I get some health, I get beaten back. Each one of those attacks uses up your blood. What's block again? I cannot remember block. There we go. R2 is block. And you need to regenerate your blood by killing people. Okay. Stun enemies with triangle. Okay, you're stunned. You're murdered. You're murdered. Try and get some more health back if I can. Oh, R2 and triangle to earn extra score. Okay, same thing as the health. You have to hit R2 and a certain button. Oh my god. I died. Resurrect consuming an innocent soul. Resurrect using an elixir. Boom. That's what that means. It's really... It's a bit... It's a bit clunky with the controls. I don't know, The original Amiga game was really clunky with the controls as well, but... This feels the same. I'm... Sometimes he doesn't want to launch into attacks and other times he does. There we go. Up we go. There's another another dead body there. H8 kill destroy. I could go and try and devour him as well if I wanted. Can't be bothered. So we'll make our way up the hill now. There we go. Right. Let's get some health back from these low level bad guys. What if I hold down R2 and then if I just keep it held down? Does that affect anything? All right, what are you? What's he throwing down now? More of these stone guys. Give me some health, dude. Nice, perfect health. Do I need full blood to do the rage thing? I think I do. I was trying to pull off one of those. There we go. One of these things. I think I waited too long, though. That was all the bad guys done. Yeah, I was trying to pull off a rage chain. Oh, you fool! Nice wavy grass. The old game, in the old game, there was no none of this combo nonsense. You literally just pressed a button to punch. And he was like, dish, dish, dish. I'll try my best to uh, unlock the main game uh, during this playthrough. I should be able to unlock the main game. It's not too hard. Uh, the main game, the original game. It's not too hard. And then you can see the game it was based on. There we go. Give me some health back. Nice. Uh, floppy bodies. Look at the way they landed. <laughs> so you can jump up and clamber up walls pretty easily. Slide down, pr pr pushing L near. Oh god, no! I pushed L down near a ledge. I definitely did. Just didn't grab hold of the wall. 
Oh, alright, I'm down the bottom now anyway. Up we go. Nothing. We can't get up that way, so I think we need to climb here and jump across. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Ah, right. So that's a blood thing that I picked up there. That gives you a big boost to your blood. Having blood is, like, crucial if you want to pull off the special moves, uh, the rage moves, the health-giving moves. Ah, too early. Is that cocked it up, is it? It has. Ah! Ah, uh, late. Really doesn't give you much time to hit those markers. Give me some health back. Oh, no. Hand in my ass to me. There we go. Climb me, climb me. Oh dear god. Oh, is there a... Is there some kind of secret shinies up here? What is this? Break seal? Oh, this is... 50,000 plus talisman unlocked descendant. That's what it says behind me. I don't know what that means though. Where is the insane difficulty of the old school Spectrum era, says Phil Coburn. Uh, when I get to the, when I get enough um, points to unlock the main game, uh, the original game, you'll see the uh, insane difficulty of the original one. This reminds me of Oddworld in some ways, says J. Cruz. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right there. I guess. Oh. You get banned. Bye! Okay, this guy is going to take a little bit more. Oh. R1 is blocked. Boom. Okay, pretty simple. This guy I'm fighting, Dorog, really needs to telegraph my blocks a bit more. It's almost like you can't see me standing there for 20 seconds holding a block pose. I have got this on easy, but it doesn't seem the most challenging of fights. Sorted him out. Wah, wah. Dead. Oh, hello, cat. My cat's here. All right, so plain grass plains of Karamoon we did. Um, how many total mana it needs to calculate? I've got 599,000 uh, mana there. So the first thing I'm gonna do with this mana. Ooh, these talismans and things. Talismans and visions. So we're unlocking a lot of stuff with each level as well. <clears throat> yeah. 
Hello kitty. It's my cat Titch. She's a little cutie. So the first thing I'm going to do with um, my banner that I've unlocked isn't to go into the Dryad Kingdom level. It's to press triangle and go to Wisdom of Shadows, which you can see just there. Now, Wisdom of Ch uh, Shadows allows you to unlock things. Is Talisman here. This device releases a burst of ether upon landing, allowing Arbron to walk away from normally fatal falls with the sliver of life intact. Sounds like it would be quite useful. Costs 500,000 mana to unlock, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. And yeah, uh, apologies to whoever composed the music for this version, but I'm going to play the game with the original 1998, oh 1989, sorry not 1990, 1989 music. Yeah. Play the game with the original version and that's enabled now, so that should kick in. And can I unlock the original game as well? I can. Let's play the original. <laughs> this is... <laughs> This is why most people will be getting this game, I reckon. Uh, right, Shadow of the Beast. Have a, we'll have a quick look at how the original was. Uh, the original on the Commodore Amiga. This is emulated, and you can unlock it by the Master's Psygnosis. So this game is as old as me, says Chris Rekkers. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> the Amiga game by... Reflections. Incredible soundtrack. Uh, this is what the game is most famous for, is this kind of haunting, weird, pan pipe ish soundtrack by David Whittaker. It is, um... If you played this back in the day, chances are this soundtrack will be firing off loads of nostalgic bursts of electricity in your brain right now. We'll skip past that anyway and get into the game. I remember that logo from Destruction Derby. It says Lemon Lime. Alright, how do we get this going? There we go. No. Ian's pressing all the buttons. Here we go. As the mist clears, the eerie image of a forest forms in front of you. To the east, a vast plain extends towards the horizon. Westward, however, in the thick of the forest, this is scrolling a bit too slow, a thousand pairs of eyes pierce the mist, glaring despondently back at you. Here we go. So this is the original game. Uh, instead of all the crazy attacks, uh, you've got one attack. You can jump and you can punch. Back in the day, though, the parallax scrolling in the background. Uh, parallax scrolling was like um, the, a massive kind of technological, graphical advancement back in the day. Um, parallax scrolling is basically the front moves a lot faster than the back and there's different layers so it looks like you've got some depth to your side scrolling stuff. Do 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 What the hell hit me there? In We're going inside a tree. Just like we did at the end of that level just then. In the actual game. Inside a winding staircase descends into darkness. Pausing for a while to allow your eyes to adjust, you make your way down the steps, which seem to deteriorate into makeshift planks the further you go. Alright, makeshift planks. I have always loved this music, says I Cucumber. Uh, ow. Can I make this jump? Hoop. Okay, come on. Oh! Right. 
No full damage. Excellent. Some ladders I could go down as well. Uh -oh. Loading. Oh god, boss. <laughs> Your bare fists alone will not be enough to defeat this opponent. Did I tell you, by the way, this game is solid? I totally died. What type of accent is that you were trying to do, says Ian Stanbridge? I have no idea. Are we stuck on this? Do we just have to sit and watch and wait this for this music to play out? Uh, restart. Oh, I want to. Let's head back outside again if I can. What in the hell kind of beast was that supposed to be? Says Jessica. I don't know. It looked like a pram with teeth, didn't it? <laughs> Consumer soul and continue. Here we go, right. We'll head to the right. What is hurting me there? Well, I could do fly kick as well. Punch that boulder right in the face. Take that bat. So you get no kind of warning when the bad guys come out of you, they just kind of attack. Dead end that well. I remember that well. <laughs> Punch a giant frog man into confetti. Testicle bats! Okay, plus two strength eyes. Do, 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 do. Ow. These things are well annoying because they just pop out of the ground. You don't know where they're going to come from. Ow! Where's the... There's a gap somewhere you can get through. Where is it? Ow, stop it. Screw it. I'm just getting leathered. Ah! What is it? What is with this game and balls? Stop it! Even have any arms? How did he climb the tree? Kind of uh, Giga-esque monster designs in this. Oh, there we go. Just stabbed, stabbed up the beast sphincter by a giant golden spine. And that's pretty much how that game went. Whenever you played it, to be completely honest. All right, whoop, whoop. right. Let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the actual game. Anyway, return to map. And we'll carry on with the uh, we'll carry on with the reboot remake. Uh, this time with the classic music from the original. Timing in timing says uh, Ick Cucum Ick Cumber. I know. I was uh, I was uh, I was pretty impatient. Getting a lot of visions as well. Oh, there's the credits. Uh, yeah. So you can unlock loads of things uh, with the mana you pick up. Dryad Kingdom. Pla Grass Plains of Karamoon is 76% complete. Arbor, oh, that's locked. Find and break the prophecy orb to unlock this timeline. Locked, 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 locked. Separation. I have no idea what this is, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what separation is what this time this is one child the fates had made a vessel strong enough to bind a thousand souls knowing the power this could give him malatoth reaper of spirits destroyer of worlds gave the command for the child to be taken that's uh, our, our broth a future was lost a future was born 
one of war and destruction. As the people of the plains prepared, Abron, Abron's Abron. mother Abron. began her search for the child that had been taken. She would bring back the hope he had offered. Okay, so... Was that... Oh, that wasn't a level, that was just... Just a little cutscene, a backstory cutscene, I guess. Okay. All right, time for the time to try the Dryad Kingdom. I think I'm gonna stick on beginner. <laughs> I was having troubles, to be honest. Do 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 do. So we're gonna get the original soundtrack now when this loads up, hopefully. I'm pretty sure that's what I set it to be. Yeah. Ian, were you disappointed when games advanced to have their own narration so you didn't need to do the voices yourself? Always, always, always uh, Ian Stanbridge. Like I always say, if there's any developers out there who need a narrator for their video game, get in touch. Guaranteed 10,000 extra units sold just on the strength of my narration at all. Let's do the spiky thing to kill all nearby enemies like it was telling me. There we go. Stab them up good and proper. Take that, fly man. These things... These things really look like um, odd world bad guys. See some rage chaining. Late. How is that late? There we go. Enemies. Do you? Okay, so we've got to get past fire snakes. Wow. Arbron's like Michael Jackson. Or well, how can I make a moonwalk? Oh well. Ow! Oh! Hold on to this. Okay. Whee! Jump in! Okay, where we go? We got a blood thing and a rough thing. I don't know what the rough thing does. I missed another blood token thing. All right, what's going to happen now? What was that on the floor there? That's someone else who's died that I could try and challenge. Wanted to. Hello, giant skeleton of a man with the pillar on his back. What do we got here? No. <laughs> L1 just before getting hit to counter. That didn't work. What? No, I... No, that's... Come on. There we go. Doesn't help I'm getting hit from both sides. There we go. Okay. I got it now. Yeah, there's the counter. So I think if you're a pretty handy with uh, beat em ups, you know, the, I guess, Platinum Games style beat em ups with like different combos and 
different ways to parry and whatnot, then this this game might be something you'd uh, you'd quite enjoy. I've never never been very good with games that have combos and stuff. The extent of my beat -em up skills kind of end with Double Dragon on the NES. Oh, it's chopping his little face off. Blop, blop, blop. Can't do like fly kicks like in the Amiga one, can you? Oh, we dodged him. I should be trying to get some more health back actually, I just realised. Boom. 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 There we go. Right. Healthy time. No. Okay, that well that one works fine. Flawless health. Let's try again if I can. We've got a guy flying around in the background. Nope, I've got not. Not enough blood left for that one. I realised at the very last moment. Oh, there's some blood there, though. Do do. All right, what's down there? <gasps> I really thought I was going to die then. There's um there's a collectible up top, but I don't think I can get it now. Alright, maybe I can. There we go, Blood Max. Okay, so we are entering the depths of the earth now. Got them stone formations like the giant's causeway. Is that a dead end down there? I've already got full. There's a blood token down there, but I've already got full blood. So let's see what's up here. So some weird architecture. Slide down by pushing L down near the edge. Okay. Break seal. Another talisman unlocked, and some more blood. So, bit of flashback in Prince of Persia, says Creator. Yeah, I guess, yeah. That's, um... Yeah, that's pretty accurate, I'd say. Who's this guy? Right, give me some health, man. Make the most of uh, getting the health while I can, I think. Push switch, did that say? Ooh. I've activated something. More health, please. More health, please. Another switch. Push switch. That seems to have turned it off. There we go. And oh god, come on. Up we go, up we go. Right, so this computer monitor thing is flickering now. Push switch. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Is it... Is it, is it doing anything? Doesn't... seem... To, oh, no, wait. Something has happened here. 
This is opened up, and we've got one of these things that I need to press this to do. Kill the prophecy bowl. Prophecy bowl is dead. What else have we got here? Blood, blood, blood. Right, so my thinking is that having that orb turn red up there opened up that little secret passage. But it's also blue. If I switch the other side to blue, maybe we'll get something else opening. we go. It's back on again. So I can make my ascent and press this. this. Yes. Here we go. Right. Whoop. Something's happening. Hello there, orb. Okay, what is it? All right, we got some teleportation portals. Badoosh. Where do I want to go? Left or right? It's telling me to go left, so that makes me instantly want to go right. Oh, okay, now that's where I've been before. Right, okay. Okay. I'll trust you now, game. I'll trust you. Oh, I see. Okay, so there's different planes of platformy bits. Huh. You can call shadow beasts. How long do the shadow beasts last? We got them? So we've got a dead end there. Blood there. Ah, oh, timed gates. Sneaky. to do that again because I just saw a shiny up here that one. Ooh, shiny. Uh, that one? So got another one. Timeline unlocked. Caramoon! Three, two, one. Failed. How do I get how do I get back again? Can I get back again? Is that a thing that can be done? Or am I stuck over this side now? Have I ruined it? I think I've ruined it. Uh, here's a teleporter. So we'll teleport over this way. Ping! Ah, I see. I see what it is. Right, so I've got a. How long have I got to do it? 29 seconds. Easy. I hope I don't cock it up now. I've said that. Come on, no rush, mate. Six, five, four, three. Cool roll through the gate. Yeah. Done it. Whoa, who's this guy? Got a little... Little yo-yo. Coming in. Ah. Teleport. Alright, 
right, so this is going to be giving us plenty of places to go for exploration and stuff, I presume. 44. I feel like I might have missed out on a good chunk of... Oh, what? Right, I'm totally, totally not going to make this time now. Oh, damn it. Hey, that guy teleported. Okay, so, eight, seven. Can I make it? Two, one, no, damn it. Cocked up the jump at the end. So this is basically a unlock the doors time trial. All right, so I got forty four seconds. I know which way to go. There's no bad guys to distract me. So I should technically be able to do it. I totally missed that orb down there though. I'm not doing I'm not doing this again though. Screw that for a laugh. There we go, made it through. Yeah, cool roll to finish it off. Oh. If you do three rolls, he falls down and he doesn't get up for a second. Give me some health. Yeah. Ow. Dude. All right, at his face off as well. Let's keep going. Ow. Damn it. So these guys are kind of good at dodging. Okay, rage chain. Ah, oh, late. So the the window of time gets shorter between each button press. Ow, you little bugger. Oh, come on! It's hitting the monster face button. Dead? Dead! We killed him, we got him. And... So, if you're not aware, this is a download only game. It's a PlayStation exclusive as well. So, if you've not got a PlayStation 4, playing this uh, is going to be a little bit difficult. What's that there? A green heart thing. What even is that? We'll find out. Plus three health. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Murdered him. <gasps> oh no, I'm going to die. Oh. You can't look up or down, so there's kind of like blind leaps of faith going on there. Resurrect using an elixir. Resurrect consuming an innocent soul. Okay. Unlucky innocent soul. I don't know what that means either, to be honest. Using an innocent soul, the differences between that. I guess using the uh, innocent soul means someone can devour your corpse after. Really, the f 
at least on this mode, because I'm playing on easy. Combat seems to be just spamming X at square. Let's not go that way. I just want to see what's up here quick. Any secrets? Gotta be some secrets. I oh, know this is where I came from. <gasps> Let me hurt myself again. Yeah, this game is uh, this game is definitely going to appeal to people who remembered the original, um, for sure. I don't really know though about what is this here. Where am I going now? Now I remember the original, but can I hit this? I don't, maybe I have to go back up again. I just, I'm not, I don't think I'm feeling this game, really. I was excited for it, but it's really not my type of game. I, I can see there are people it will appear to, uh, appeal to. But I was more um, more excited about seeing the original again than I was loading up the second level. <laughs> I don't know. That just means I'm old. I hope, um, I presume I'm having to backtrack here, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go! Got you. Nice bit of a counter there. And some more teleporte. Right, we've got some green blood. That means we're on the right trail. That weird wizardy dude. There he is. Come on. Come and get me with your crappy yellow balls. Do, 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 do. That looks quite nice though. That's pretty enough. What the hell is this? Wasp lady. Alright, wasp douches. It's time to die. Oh, damn it. No, it's not. Cocked it up. My rage chain was far too early. Ball dudes are annoying. Need some help, man. No. Ah, oh, I pressed the wrong button to block. Just pressing R2. That was that was my fault, big time, then. Come on, no. Nice, finish them all off. Whoop whoop.
Okay, what's happening now? Oh, he's opened the door for me. What a lovely, what a lovely chap. Oh, it's nice when gigantic uh, half-dead monsters help you out, isn't it? Ooh. How does she eat? Oh, there we go. Hello, my name is Wasp Lady. I'd like you to buzz off. Ha 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 ha! That's the translation. I hate wasps. I'm gonna have good fun carving her up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Okay. So oh, that is it. Oh. Why can't I hit this guy? I was pressing the hit button and I was just going like this. Lame. Dryad Queen, she's got 62% health. There's a gun running. It's doing it again! It's weird. So it feels like the combat, like, you have to be in a certain position for your, like, a certain distance for your strikes to actually connect. If you're too far away, it kind of sometimes it jumps you forward to, like, make the hits connect. But if you're too close, it just doesn't, can't handle it. Like, I'm quite far away and it jumped me for the right next to him, but my hits weren't connecting. I guess she's gone this side. Oh my god, no. Oh no, one side. Ah. Cheap, cheap lady. Yeah, one more hit and she's dead. So look, I'll attack this guy from a bit of a distance. Oh, someone else popped in. Too late now, I guess. Oh, she's dead. Killed her. I killed her. They do sound like the Last of Us clickers. Los Alamos says you're tiny on screen. You look like an evil lemming. Oh no! Wow, what is this thing that... Oh! Dinner time for Scully. Oh, he didn't even bother eating her. What a waste. What a waste. These guys are mates. Guess they are. The combat needs a platinum game injection, says Gavin UK. It does. It just... It, it, I can imagine if you're really good at these types of games, you could probably, like, find something, you know, to really enjoy in it. But for me, it just feels a little bit clunky. It definitely doesn't feel like, even though I'm a bit of a fighting game noob, playing Platinum games, it always feels like all the combos and leading into the combos is nice and smooth. Like the Transformers game um, was great for that. This, I don't know, feels a bit stiff. I guess is is um, the best word I can think of to describe the the uh, the combat. So I've uh, unlocked a timeline, exploited 
Karamun and the Dryad Queen. Okay. New talisman found. Shield of Leander. Block incoming attacks by tapping towards an enemy just before impact. That sounds like it would be useful. Uh, we found some new visions as well. Some new entries for the bestiary. But I've unlocked some new things. I've, I've got some new mana, I reckon, so I'll be able to unlock some new stuffs. That was the worst lemming impression, Ian. The worst, says Irina. Your good lemming impression. You do better. Tweet me, tweet me your impression of a lemming. Aya. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to do any better. I got loads of two million mana. Oh man, I'm going to unlock some cool stuff. Uh, so combat, we can buy. Uh, so you can buy extra health and combat stuff owned. Advanced combat moves. Here you go. Look, you can get all these new combat moves. What's frenzy focus? R1 and square to fill the frenzy meter quickly. As he goes strength, Arbrod is able to focus his power and control even his moments of frenzy. So you got loads of power-up things and blood yields you can unlock. Or you can unlock these things. Subtitle any common speech you hear in the game. So you can actually find out... Huh, so you can actually find out what the dryads and things are saying. It's interesting. Um, these things just tell you all about the bad guys, I guess. Dryad Queen. Uh, hundred year, hundreds of years old. She must, uh, must do her squats, though. Um, and then you can unlock the original game. Infinite lives in the original game. A playthrough of the original game. The soundtrack. Retrospective. Box art. I don't need to unlock the box art. I've got real, I've got physical box art. Mmm, smells of nostalgia. Alright, let's unlock the Infinite Life 1989 game. Uh, let's unlock a complete playthrough. Yeah. Let's unlock the, the, the soundtrack. How do I listen to it? Oh, like this. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. So lots of uh, lots of different soundtracks I've unlocked there that I could listen to in my spare time. There's a retrospective I could unlock here. Uh, talking about Shadow of the Beasts and the box and the game and Shadow of the Beasts 2 and 3 as well, yeah. So a bit of a retrospective on the series there if you really want to read it. Go on then. Let's have a look at the box art. There you go. That box, this box art, back in the day, probably sold more copies of the game than the reviews did. Look at how like weird and iconic and crazy it was. Don't think you fight any monsters like that in the game though. I got fifty I got five hundred thousand pretty much left to do. I guess I should unlock some health maybe. Uh oh no, I can't unlock that. I've unlocked some blood yield. There we go. Alright. On to the swamp of decay! That was enough nostalgia. They are cool extras, you're right, B Vargas. Uh, I do have to admit, even though this game isn't really doing it for me, um, the extras are uh, really good. Uh, especially the 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 retro e the retro e section. Psygnosis always had the best box art, which was never really very similar to the game. You're right, B Vargas. You used to have that picture, you used to have the box art on a t-shirt, he says, B-Vargas does. 
Alright, where are we now? Where are we now? <clears throat> Can I climb up here? No. I set a new score for Dryad Kingdom. Nice. Spiky mushrooms. Did it do do? Ooh, it's autumn in Shadow of the Beastland. These monsters, however, these things look a lot more like the original box art. Very much so. That's very cool. I like that. Excellent creature design. <gasps> I missed a space on that. I jumped too far forward. Back this way, yeah, another blood. Alright, what are we fighting now? Oh, he's he's having a rest. What did you do with the baby, you shit? Ow! Okay. Right, I need to watch the water for these guys. That's a pretty awesome special power to be able to call down meteorites. Oh my god! What is it? I think I, think I just saw it's junk. Ooh, okay, so. Right, the glowy things show where meteors are going to land. Standard. Ow, not fair. Is this fun, says Lemon Lime? Good hmm. question. Bits of it are fun, but to be honest, I'm enjoying the uh, nostalgic retro stuff more than uh, the remake. I think if you're a fan of side scrolling brawlers, combos, blocking and doing parries and things, I think you could have a lot of fun with this game. Just uh, don't think it's really my kind of game. I'd kind of say it's worth the price just for the retro stuff, though. If you're not like brilliant with, if you don't have a PC and you're not brilliant with like emulators and if you played the original and you want to give that a go and again then it's almost almost definitely worth it just for that oh god too early oh god I gotta fight these guys while meteors are smashing my face in that's no good. Do the meteors take them out as well? They do. Yeah. It does feel kind of cool when you get the uh, 
when you've got a good flow going. Not then though. Well then. Did I die? Oh, I died. Resurrect using an innocent soul. Uh, Reen Watts says it's a nice attempt at modernising it. It is a nice... You're, you're correct. You are correct, Arena. Right, what's going on here? I do like the fact that they've brought these weird gigantic things from the box to life after all these years. Though. Whee! Kick his head in! Uh, like some kind of weird, like organic machines. Are we gonna kill this guy or not? He keeps getting away. <laughs> Slapped him up. Slap. There we go. Kills you, bro. What? How are you still alive? Good. Good. There's a thing behind me. A blue thing. I don't know how to get to it. Oh, look, they've got the wells in the game. Oh, Swamp of Decay wasn't very long. Flew through that. Uh, new timeline found. So some more extra storyline things found. Denian Grazer Bestiary Entry and Denian Skimmer Bestiary Entry. Mir Myrdog. Swamp of Decay World Galleries. So I'm not reading that comment from Peter, but it did kind of make me laugh. Very mature, Peter. Fire. Oh god, even your name. Even your name. Ah, right. oh, Total Manor. Wisdom of Shadows. I could get some more stuff in Wisdom of Shadows, but I should probably save up. Dryad Queen. What's it say about the Dryad Queen? Released by his father's sacrifice, free of will, but uncertain of purpose, the beast pursued the mage that had controlled him. Fearful that Malatoth would kill him as punishment for the beast's escape, the mage Zelek sought refuge in the land of the Dryads. Here he gave the child to the queen, who, in return, offered the mage sanctuary, sending servants to deliver the child to Malatoth and soldiers to kill the beast. Lip sync challenge. But the beast slaughtered all those sent against him. The blood he spilled awakening the titans that had been held captive by the dryads. Roused from their magical slumber, these ancient giants rose up, killing the queen and taking back their freedom. You can take my babies, but you cannot take our freedom! All right, next level, I guess. The arid wastes. The arid wastes.
<laughs> oh, Gavin. <laughs> that is an incredible gift that Gavin has just made. <laughs> Uh, if you <laughs> if you follow me on Twitter, I've just re retweeted an incredible gif. Um, right. Where were we? This way. So, hello, Dougie. Thanks for doing uh, some some good old um, oh god moderating for us. Sir. Right, who are these guys? Let's block that and then smack him in the face. Chopped his head clean off. again. Missed. You missed me anyway. Ha <laughs> ha. And that ended up with him being dead. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to try it on a harder difficulty. See if I can do it with, uh, see if I can do it on a hard difficulty. See if it makes it any more like uh... Deep, I guess. How do I change the difficulty, man? Do I not? I guess. Oh. I guess I can't change the difficulty. That's a shame. Can I change the difficulty on ones I've already played? Ah yes, you can. Alright, let's try let's try the first level on beast mode. See, see how well I can deal um, on beast mode. Got 12 minutes of punishment left. Ian, what do you think of the Uncharted multiplayer? I haven't seen any of the streams because I wanted spoiler free. It's very good, Alex Magoo. I started off not really liking it, but then uh, I played a bunch with some mates, um, and uh, I really got into it. It was a bit like, felt a little bit to me, a little bit like a fast-paced uh, The Last of Us Factions mode, which uh, is one of my favourite multiplayer experiences of all time. Still spam the square button. Do 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 do. Right, I've got to watch out for the arrows this time. I know how to roll now. Oh, whoops. Oh, I've got a lot less health. Oh, 
Ah, oh, come on. Oh, they take two... I'm going to die. No, no. They take two pips of health off every time you get hit by an arrow. Oh, okay. Beast mode. No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, growl, yard. Yeah. I am angry, growler. Right, face enemies, I want to block attacks. Clong. Now you will all die! Seems to have got rid of the rage bar as well. I don't need it. I'm double hard. She just lost her head. One more enemy remaining. Roly poly, stabby wabby. Yeah. Press circle to grab enemies. Oh. Nice. Bye. So, yeah, I don't know. Beast mode. This is only the first level, I guess. But beast mode doesn't seem that much more challenging. You just get less health. What? 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 what. Okay, let's just murder these guys up. Blap, blap. Fight. Totally skipping this. Oh, you can do rage. Okay. The rage attacks do come back. Just had to learn how to do them. What? Indicator didn't ever even appear. Ow, you fool! There you go. Easy street. It's taken one. These guys ain't no thing. Wonder if this boss, like that thing that I could just block and hit earlier, I wonder if he'll be any more of a challenge. I, for some reason I'm finding it easier on the hardest mode than I was on the easiest mode. I've, I think I've warmed up a bit now. It's definitely a good looking game though. I do like the, the uh, character designs and everything. Come back here, baby thief! Oh, 
Oh god. Elbow don't go in the face. There we go. I really don't... Except for the fact that it takes more damage off you when you get hit. It doesn't really feel that hard. Oh. Oh, there we go. That'll be why it's beast mode, because you can't respawn. All right, well, that's enough anyway. I think uh, that was... Technically, wasn't the first 90 minutes. It was like the first... 75 minutes and then I played the first level again. But yeah, that was a nice big look at Shadow of the Beast. Hopefully, seeing it in action, you'll be able to decide whether or not you think this game is for you. If you need more help deciding, then uh, head over to Eurogamer.net right now uh, when our, where our review has just gone live. Well, it went live about two hours ago now. Uh, you can check out the review written by the uh, magnificent Simon Parkin. Uh, hopefully you found this stream interesting uh, and useful. If you have done, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like live streams, you should totally subscribe to Eurogamer because we do plenty of live streams here on uh, new and unreleased games. Uh, just like this one, this is new and unreleased so far. I'm not sure what day it comes out. But uh, yeah, I I don't know. Uh, I'm not really not really my kind of game. I do like it for the fact that it's great. It's got some great nostalgic unlockables, so almost worth the price of the game just for that. If you're uh, if you grew up in the Amiga times like I did, um, game wise, main game wise, I don't know. I think it's it's definitely not for me, but I can see why some people would like it. But. Um, Let's just say I'm not going to be rushing to complete it, I guess. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who's been watching. Big thanks to the moderators for keeping things under control and blocking all the douchebags. Um, not many rules here on Eurogamer. Just be nice to one another. We'll get on fine. If you don't follow that rule, you get blocked. So, uh, yeah, thanks for upholding the law, you guys. Uh, thanks also to Chris Reckless, Hero Fanchuk, Jessica McCoy, uh, Rena Watt... Gavin UK, Los Alnos, Tor Nielsen, Sonny Jim, Lizzie 2006, Supersonic TV, Phil Coburn, Running Mike, uh, I Arena. Who's that? Yayak Payapo. Uh, Creator. And Stam Gamer HDTVR uh, and everyone else who's been watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming along and being part of the Eurogamer crew. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, just gone up on the channel, I think, if you're a fan of Total War, uh, is. Let me just double check. I don't want to spoil any surprises just in case. Uh, yeah, just gone up on the channel is a video that Chris has done recreating Total War Warhammer's Battle of Blackfire Pass. Basically, uh, Chris has uh, recreated the reveal trailer of Total War Warhammer in the final game to find out if their reveal trailer was a load of old pants and a bit of make-believe or if it actually looks that cool in the real game. Uh, you can also you can check that out. You can also check out... Um, a video I put up today where I took out Hitman's first ever elusive target. Nice quick video just to see what it was like, basically. So, yeah, loads of stuff on the channel and plenty more to come in the following week. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you again very soon right here on Eurogamer. Bye.